Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we'll talk about the fractionally sized box widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. We already seen a widget called size box that allows us to create a widget of specific pixel size. But many times on UI, instead of having a widget of specific pixel size, we may want a widget having the fractional size with respect to available space. So in this scenario, we can make the use of fractionary size box widget. Basically, fractionally size box is a widget that sizes its children to the fraction of total space available. Don't worry, I will explain what do you mean by this total space available. But make sure that with respect to the space that is available on the screen, we want a widget to have the specific size. We can do this by using the meter query. But in this case, we have to manually calculate the width or height and then we have to apply that one for our widget. So instead of doing all this calculation, Flutter had the ready-made solution for you and that is the fractionally size box. So fractionally size box is mainly used for two different reasons. The first one is for applying the fractional size to widget. For example, we have this elevated button placed inside the center widget. Consider that this particular button has to acquire 70% of width available on the screen. So for that purpose, we can simply wrap this elevated button inside the fractionally size box widget. So let's write here fractionally size box widget. Fractionally size box has got the property called width factor and height factor that allows us to specify the fractional width and height for the widget. And we have to specify child, of course, that has to be placed inside this fractional size box. We can also manage the alignment of widget by using this align property. So let me use here, say, a width factor. So as I'm interested for making this particular button with respect to 70% of the width available, so we have to make this one as say width factor, say 0 0.7. So 0 0.7 indicates here it will acquire the 70% width available on the screen. For example, if I change it to say 9, so it is going to acquire 90% width. And when I make it 1, so it is going to acquire 100% width available on the screen. To make it 50%, we can simply write here 0 0.5 and we are good to go. Now let me talk about the second use and that is adding fractional gap between the widgets. Let's say an example, we have a column that got two different containers and in between these containers, I want a gap of 20% with respect to the height available on the screen. So simply I can write here fractionally size box. Make sure whenever we use this fractionally size box inside a column or row widget, it must be wrapped inside flexible or the expanded. Otherwise, Flutter will throw an error. You can observe now, this particular gap between these two containers is 20% of available space on the screen. Now, let me explain what they mean by this available space. So, first of all, let me make this as 50, that is the 50%. So, let's share here. You can observe now, this particular wide gap, that is this particular wide area, and this particular wide area is equal in size. Means, whatever gap available on the screen so consider this particular white portion is a gap available on the screen with respect to height so out of this 50 percent gap is uh, given in between these two container and the remaining 50 percent gap is here so that is the reason uh, we always say that fractionally size box works with the available space on the screen now let me make it one and when i save the code you can observe now this particular gap is 100% of the total space available on the screen and that is the reason these two different containers are now uh, they are far away from each other and the complete gap is there in between them. Let me explain one more example to understand this fractionally size box. Uh, we have got a container with the width of 300 and height 200 and the color is orange for this container. This container has got the fractionally size box and that has got the elevated button. We can observe now for this fractional size box, we have width factor 0 0.6 and height factor is 0 0.4. It means this particular button will get the 60% space available inside the container. So make sure it is important to note that this is the 60% space available, means it is not a 60% space on the screen, it is actually the 60% space available inside the container. And the 0 0.4 indicate it is the 40% space available inside the container. For example, let's say if I make it one, so we'll all observe now, it is actually the 100% speed with respect to container and not with respect to the complete width of the screen. So let me make it say 0 0.8 here. So it is going to place the 80% width here. And if I change the height factor, for example, if I make the height factor is one, so it is going to acquire entire height of the container and not the height of the available screen here. So let's uh, go back to say 0 0.4 here. So that's fine. 
We can also control the alignment and for that purpose we have the alignment property and we can pass the value in several ways. So let me pass the value in the form of alignment constants. We can write here alignment dot let's say say top left here. So it is going to place the button in the top left corner. We can change it to say top right. So that's going to move in the top right. And let's say if I use here say bottom right. So it is going to move in the bottom right. And the default value is of course center. You might have observed that one. Uh, so let's say if I go with say bottom left, so that is going to place the button in the bottom left corner of the container. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.